Right now you're looking at a bird's eye view of Tropical Storm Cristobal. Here's an interesting fact that I learned earlier today. This is the earliest we've reached the letter C for a named storm since 1851. It formed in the Bay of Campeche and is expected to move up into the Gulf of Mexico, threatening the United States. Of course, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn keeping a close eye on conditions from our Storm Tracker Center. So Patrick, I just want you to kind of walk us through the next couple of days. I will. Uh, first off, let's take care of right now. The storm has strengthened to a 50 mile per hour tropical storm. And a hurricane, or I should say tropical storm warnings, are in effect from Campeche to Veracruz. This is expected to make a landfall later on tonight. So that's some good news. Uh, over the next couple of days, that is the crucial part of the forecast. What is this going to do as far as when it goes onshore? Will it dissipate? Will it weaken significantly? What is the structure going to be like when it is expected to head back to the north? We'll see increasingly southerly steering currents that should drag this and take it on off towards the north at the present time. Here's the National Hurricane Center's latest uh, forecast. Notice it does weaken to a depression, but the track has moved further to the east as far as where it comes off of the coast of Mexico. By Friday, let me back up, by Thursday, I think we're going to know where this is going to, how this is going to uh, impact uh, the upper Texas coast and Louisiana coast as far as how strong it's going to be. And I think we'll have a lot of uh, questions answered coming up Thursday, if not Thursday, certainly by Friday. By uh, Saturday, it strengthens to a 60 mile per hour tropical storm. Notice here's Corpus Christi, here's Brownsville. It's in the open waters of the, uh, of the Gulf of Mexico. And then as we head on into Sunday night, it's making uh, a trek towards, uh, say, the Vermilion uh, Parish a Chafalaya River Basin. At least that's the forecast. However, look how large the cone of uncertainty is. This is this has been challenging as far as where it's going to go. Anywhere from the upper Texas Gulf Coast, uh, southwest Louisiana, all the way over to past Biloxi, Mississippi, is in the realm of possibilities of being struck by this tropical storm, possible hurricane. We'll talk more about the steering currents and what we think locally here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, Patrick. You can get constant updates on hurricane season straight to your phone. All you've got to do, text the word hurricane to 409-838-1212 to get the latest developments on the tropics. And we've made it pretty easy for you to stay on top of the latest weather conditions. Just grab your phone and download our 12 News Now app. You click settings, then severe weather alerts. From there, you can customize your location. You can turn on which alerts, watches, and warnings you want to be notified of. Everything you need right in the palm of your hand.